Hi everyone and welcome back to Photoshop Elements Imaging Techniques and Tips. I'm your host Ken Keith. Hello to the local users and all of you out there either in Vimeo or on YouTube. We appreciate you joining in and we'd love to hear from you. I hope you're uh, getting something out of this tutorial series. Well back about five months ago uh, on the Vimeo website number 18 tutorial was called Fixin' Faces and in it uh, introduced the concept of glamour skin and uh, we've been using uh, the technique there uh, in Photoshop Elements basically from the beginning especially starting in uh, Elements 3 and you can still do it of course from 3 through 8 but beginning with um, Element 7 they introduced a new filter which they uh, have described as a, a skin smoothing filter but uh, unlike a, a general blur filter uh, the edges uh, are to be maintained so that there's a sharpness there you don't lose uh, the sharpness in the areas that you would normally uh, see for example like around the color portion of the eyes well I'm going to review just very briefly Glamour Skin and, and this, this new technique they've, they've come up with with this filter uh, works essentially the same but I'm not at all convinced that it is the better of the two methods as a matter of fact um, I, I think that the, the old one uh, does a, a nicer job for your portraits anyway you decide and uh, love to hear from you uh, you can uh, drop a comment here uh, whether you're watching it on Vimeo or YouTube or send us an email there's a welcoming video on the Vimeo website that has our contact information well let's get right to it alright well the first thing we need, we need to do is grab a portrait and we're going to do that one right there and we go to full photo edit I'm going to enlarge that one for you so you can see uh, skin texture and the effects of this filter. Okay, if, if you're watching this in high def, which it was recorded, uh, then you should be able to see the texturing of the skin. And of course, if you're doing portraits of, of family, friends, or if you're doing it especially for money, you want your subjects to look their best. And so we're going to take uh, some of that um, uh, porosity and coarseness away from the skin. Now in the previous video fixing faces what we did was simply to duplicate the background layer apply a Gaussian blur from the filter menu and lower the opacity of that duplicate layer to about 40 percent and then we took the eraser tool and erased the blurry uh, from that layer to let the, the sharp uh, data from the underneath layer show through and using this filter uh, which is called surface blur uh, we're, we start out the same way so go ahead and duplicate your background layer okay, by dragging it down here or or just do control J and then go to the filter and blur and surface blur now the thing that I have about this particular one unlike Gaussian blur when you have a radius in pixels this also has a threshold setting so now you have two things to be concerned with and um, when this opens up uh, the default values are going to be higher uh, I don't really remember I believe it's somewhere around 6 and 20 now, what I think here is, and you can see this best on the 100% preview box, that I think it makes the skin look plastic. And yes, it smooths out the wrinkles, that's for sure. But I believe it introduces an unnaturalness about it that you don't get with the Gaussian blur. So I'm going to suggest that if you want to uh, try the surface blur filter, start out about four for radius, 
and about 10 for threshold and click OK. Now I believe at uh, this point uh, you still see some uh, porousness and uh, all but the skin it, it still looks fairly natural now there's some hot spots here that we could have uh, taken care of before we got started but uh, I believe at this setting it's just now starting to look a, a little strange to me on my monitor you may not be able to appreciate this by just watching the video but check it out for yourself anyway now uh, after we've uh, duplicated this layer applied the surface blur we're going to go over get your eraser tool uh, at 100% opacity and uh, a soft brush and we're, we're going to erase over those elements that we want to be sharp obviously we want the eyes to be sharp eyebrows uh, right in here in the nostrils probably should be sharp and of course along here in the lips and teeth area and you could stop right here or you could just go ahead and um, uh, use your eraser tool on hair and clothing just depends on the look that you want uh, and this is a pretty nice effect but if you do the the previous one in which once again duplicate the layer uh, apply a 5-6 pixel blur in Gaussian uh, blur filter and lower that opacity then do the same thing I think you'll find that it is preferable but I'd like to hear from you about this and uh, we we'll hope you have a great week wherever you are that the sun is shining and uh, you have a lot of happiness in your life and we'll talk again next time take care